Hello and welcome everybody. I am Adam the Silly Host and we are back at playing some Minecraft. So, uh, as I have told you before, uh, I have started the... let's say, just say that it's a new season. And I am playing on a new server, so I thought that it would be time to just show you around. As you can see, <laughs> I have been busy here. I made this uh, big uh, chateau which I think looks really nice, although the interior is still not done. But yeah, you can see that. In this season I went for a brick deep, deep slate combination and I built pretty much all of my buildings uh, with these materials, everything pretty much built with these materials. And the challenge is in this case is to try to come up with new forms, new ways to build things. Uh, and yeah, I still have plenty of <laughs> empty space that I will have to fill in with uh, something. And also some buildings that uh, still needs a little finishing. <laughs> but anyway, let's start at the beginning. Uh, this season I started uh, about right here, where we had a high cliff at a chunk error and we had an upside down sunken uh, ship on top of this hill and that was where I started to make a small base that started to grow and grow and grow and if you follow me on Twitter you can actually see some screenshots about that how this all thing started uh, and how this all started to grow over time uh, yeah Collecting lava is just a fun exercise. I do it sometimes. I don't use it for anything, but it, this is just fun to do uh, Yeah, this is a work in progress. This is a small building that used to be a honey farm, but it was too small So now it's just empty, but uh, let me show you my actual base. Oh Yes, this server has mop heads and uh, it's a uh, highly sought collectible items uh, and I just really like to mess with them. As you can see, I actually did some adventuring uh, in the beginning of this season. Uh, actually, I did a lot. As you can see, oh, 125 uh, treasure chests I have found. So, yeah, I did a lot <laughs> in the beginning. Um, I got villagers, of course. And I started to expand my base downwards at first, into the cliff. As I mined out the cliff, I have made more and more space for all uh, the storage, the farms, the furnace. And much of the space is still kind of empty. Maybe I should fill it with something. As you can see, I have librarians. Interesting thing on this server you have a limit of 32 villagers in a 64 block radius so I had to After I reached the kind of a limit I had to put my the rest of the librarians elsewhere Which is kind of annoying in my mind, but eh, I can live with that and of course the usual honey farms wool farms cacti farms and other things like dripstone wines that I, that I can farm. Uh, if I come down here, you can see some mycelium, uh, glowberries, of course. The problem is that they don't. Uh, ooh, a cat. The problem is that they don't uh, make glowberries uh, anymore. Only when they naturally grow. So at this stage, this is just. Yeah, I have to bone me a little sadly to get some glowberries. I have some uh, uh, animals, of course, that I farm every now and then. And uh, I actually made it a, a little bit automated as I have uh, built these mine carts under the animals. So when I just uh, harvest them, let's just say that, then it automatically goes into this uh, rather big sorter, I think. And I get all these nice things all over the place. Yeah, let's fill that up. <clears throat> I still haven't been able to figure out why the sometimes one 
cactus goes in there. I have no idea. I wonder if I made some of an error or maybe the system gets overwhelmed sometimes uh, with all this stuff, but uh, well, who knows. Anyway, um, I have a small minecart system that leads to a spider, a zombie and a skeleton farm that I made from spawners, but that's not really interesting. I also have a, what's this, a bamboo farm here, that actually, I mean, I figured out that, I guess at some point, that uh, if I make lots of bamboo, I can turn them into sticks, and sticks I can sell to the Fletchers. And they really love that, so sometimes I just come here, it actually pro produces a lot of bamboo. Um, so I just come here to get some em emeralds, because on this server, sadly, it's not on hard mode, so I cannot just uh, zombify the villagers to cure them to give me better trades, because uh, there is a good chance that they will actually just die, sadly. Uh, this was supposed to be a warehouse, but uh, when I finished it, it turned out like uh, kind of pretty, kind of small. So I was like, yeah, let's make another one. So over here I made another one and it turned out actually maybe smaller than the previous one. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a fail, but uh, yeah, in the end I actually filled this one with all kinds of stuff and I think this is the only building where I actually did somewhat of an interior, but um, I guess you can see that this is not much of an interior, this is more like just putting down stuff all over the place. Um, yeah, I made a couple of cranes and this like long leggy crane. Um, yeah, I don't have ships yet. Problem is, every time I try to make a ship in Minecraft, it ended up being a dredge. And I am tired of having dredges, so... Uh, for the moment, I am more like just, uh, yeah, maybe I will ask somebody to make it, um, uh, maybe not, I don't know, I will think about it, but uh, let's keep on uh, looking what else do we have here. I, of course, made a lighthouse. Uh, the chateau has these nice crop plants, they are perfectly organized, like flawless things, like... I said flawless, but... Mm. Well, whatever, let's say that we haven't seen that. <laughs> so, anyway, oh. As you can see, the server is a little bit weird, because uh, they update with snapshots sometimes without... Uh, um, wiping the whole server, so that made some chunk errors. Uh, not to mention that they sometimes delete uh, chunks that were not loaded for more than a few minutes. So, yeah, that made some interesting things around here. But, uh, yeah, I would like to make in this place like a, a flower garden, uh, a hedge maze. Somewhere it would be really nice to have a small pond where I could put down some axolotls. Uh, chunk errors again. Mm -hmm. Kind of a watchtower, but the clock is messed up a bit. Uh, anyway, let's continue. I managed to go as far as to make this little fountain, but I still have to figure out the surroundings. I try to use uh, many, many flowers, mostly red and orange tulips, because they really look uh, nice with this uh, brick deep slate combination. And also these uh, azaleas are just wonderful. Uh, this is my warp, or p-warp. I don't know why they call this p-warp, but anyway, people warp here and they can see the chateau. I hope that at, uh, at some point I will actually have some interior into this, because now the ground floor is mostly uh, finished uh, layout-wise, but I still have to make the upper floors. 
I mean, the first, second floor, maybe some attic, I don't know. I mean, I had a vision regarding what kind of uh, house I want to make here, like a big uh, chateau style uh, mansion. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> but I don't really know anything about the interior. Anyway, so what else could I show you, you might ask. So, let's see. As you can see, chunk errors uh, kind of uh, amplify this way. I removed part of this mountain and it revealed an ocean monument, temple, whatever. This thing. This was the first time I dried out uh, one of these things. It took me quite a long time as I only had like uh, uh, f like 40 sponges, so yeah, it took me quite some time, but anyway, I did it. Problem is, after I did it, I have no idea what to do with it, so I just uh, surrounded it with the brick and deep slate uh, combination of uh, materials and that's all. I also made this some kind of uh, lush place here uh, with mossy blocks that I think it's kind of nice. Uh, these are my crop plants that I have uh, planted uh, in kind of the beginning of the season. And as time passed, I expanded it and I turned everything into this big drip slate combination, uh, except some places. I mean. I have some masons here who give me some nice materials, which is kind of useful, but uh, yeah, I just got tired of messing with the villagers. Uh, I got all the librarians that sell all the books, and that was just like two, three days itself. And after that, messing with the villagers to have good trades, that was just became a boring chore at some so I just gave up on it. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. Uh, as you can see, I have a really nice and rather huge lush cave system uh, beneath my base, which is uh, really handy to get some resources, especially the huge amounts of clay that I have to uh, use to make this build possible. So that's a, a really great thing. Other thing is that I have made a slime farm back there behind me, as you can see. Uh, although I do not use it for anything, <laughs> but I still have it, I guess. Uh, anyway, I think that this will be it for today. Uh, I really like this server at the moment, and uh, if you are interested in uh, joining, this is a public multiplayer server, uh, I will leave a link in the description. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and as always, have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye!